Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, Reorder here. So it's been a while since I did uh, small tutorials for you, so why not do one more? And uh, today I uh, will tell you how to make this wonderful long tail reverb on your pianos for your trance tracks. Uh, this is a sample of my track Spirit of Ecstasy and I used following piano there. So we will try to do something like that. So let's have a listen. So it's uh, basically really simple. We have the MIDI here. So the first thing you need is a piano and there are some really nice in your sounds and instruments. So let's go to sampler. There's a piano there and we will use this one. Just place it to your MIDI channel. There you go. We don't need this reverb and we can go all the way. We'll use our own reverb for this tutorial. So let's just put the reverb on. Okay, and let's play around with this. We need to achieve this long tail sound. So first thing you need to do, we will get rid of all these input processing things. We can shorten the pre-delay, we don't need it as long. We can also put the shape a bit higher of the spin. Let's go to 87. Yeah, that would be nice. And somewhere around here. So right now, it sounds crappy. Played for you. So the quality needs to be high. Size all the way up, stereo all the way up. The decay time about 20 seconds. Then uh, click on low, about 200 hertz. We'll cut this all out. High cut about 9000. Again, cut this all out. We need some chores there. Maybe around here, let's hear it. Yeah, it's getting nicely there. So we need to increase the density of our reverb. Let's go for 85%, that would be enough. And scale all the way up. Also we need some reflections there and we need to diffuse to be very loud. And yeah, let's do like 35%. This is still not enough, so we can uh, have a listen to it. I'll just put this a bit down. Still a bit messy, so now let's put some EQ on it. We need to cut the lows so it doesn't interfere our track, and we will raise. What do we want to hear? That's the middle of the frequency spectrum. Let's hear it now. Getting there, we also need to add the sidechain. You can either use your favorite plugin, I like to use LFO tool, or you can create your own sidechain. Um, you can do it pretty quickly, but for this one, we will use LFO tool from X4 Records. It's pretty cheap and very useful. We'll leave it as it is, the default settings just take this part away because this is what happens if you leave it there. Can you hear it click? So we just move it like this. Okay, let's hear it. Still not quite there, but almost. I would cut a bit more of these low frequencies. Raise this a bit more here maybe a longer decay and a bit more here okay and we also need to compress it so when the piano hits you can hear the click prominently and the reverb tail going behind it so we take the glue compressor place it right here 
adds a gold the way up, release, let's say four, and threshold about minus 20 should do the job. Let's hear it. Maybe we can do more. Bit of makeup. Nah, no, that's about it. Let's hear it. Yeah, so what do you think? Let me know in the comments and please let me know what would you like to learn when it comes to trance, psytrance, tech trance or any trance music. I'm here for you and I promise I will do more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked. If you didn't, you know, thumbs down. Screw reorder. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys and uh, hope to see you soon.